why am I not playing Elden Ring, you ask? Well, because uh, I have to go in about one hour-ish? A little under one hour. So, I kind of didn't want to start uh, Millennia because I know that I'll be stuck there for a pretty damn long time, I think. <laughs> so, what I decided to do today instead is play this uh, like indie game that I found. And supposedly it doesn't it's not that long a game. It's only about half an hour. But it's supposed to be a nice chill game. Which is pretty cool. So let's see how it goes. It's called What Never Walks. And according to Steam, which and I don't know if the music stops when I tab out, I think it does. But according to Steam. This is a short, story-driven, first-person game focused on exploration and puzzle-solving. And the main character's name is Sarah, who has to shoulder the arduous task of clearing out her grandfather's attic. And soon finds that not everything about the attic is what it seems. Which honestly sounds like it could be a pretty good series puzzle game. But it's apparently only about an hour-ish short story. So let's just dive right into it. I like this kind of short game sometimes, but I hey, just- Mom, where are you? Oh. Wait, Wait what? what? It's voice. So you're not coming? But I'm already here. I know, but Mom, don't we owe it to Grandpa too? Yeah, I know. It's just- What? You can't sell the clock? Grandpa's had that for years. Okay, okay, whatever. It's fine. I can just start clearing out my boxes, and then, I don't know, we can come back tomorrow and do the rest? Yeah. Bye. Oh. I did not expect a voiceover at all. <laughs> I think it's quite rare for an indie game to have voiceover. I'm really going to miss you, Grandpa. Alright. Let's do this. Okay. Oh, I can move. Oh, the camera sensitivity is kind of high. Controls. Okay. <laughs> I can't adjust that. Alright then. Visuals. Audio. I always like to put subtitles in games because I'm a little bit deaf. Oh, that's... I can't jump, but that's pretty nice. Gross. <laughs> To, to inspect an object, press left mouse button. Very intuitive. Uh, it's going to take forever to sort through all these. Grandpa sure did like his books. Some objects are worth Fairies inspecting. More than Ryan Froud and Alan Lee. Celtic myths and legends. These oh, books Jesus. are all so old. Hey, wait. Is that the biography of George Lucas? <sighs> nah. The Hero <laughs> with a Thousand Faces by Joseph, Joseph. Campbell. Celtic myths and legends. The hero with a thousand fairies. These books are. That's all. <sighs> okay. It's going to take the hero with a thousand faces by Joseph Campbell. I think it's interesting that it's not lit up. So you're. Oh wait, it is lit up. Oh, Grandma's Why weren't the books lit up? So this is where it ended up. I really wish I knew if that was in tune or not. Yeah, I I I don't know either. Kind of bad at music. Oh, grandma's cello. So this is where it ended up. I like her voice, I gotta say. Oh. Yeah. Enough of that. Okay, so right click is interact and left click is inspect. I used to put this on for grandpa after dinner. Then we'd sit and listen to it together. I've never been much into swing music, but it was our little tradition. Ah. Uh, the old gramophone. The old gramophone. I used to put this on for grandpa after dinner, and we'd sit and listen to it together. I actually like it. Okay, let's leave it on. Maps. Lots of maps. Lots of maps. Grandpa loved reading maps and making maps. Oh, it looks like a torn out page. I picked up journal. 
to look at my inventory, press Q or tap. Okay, you're kind of distracting now. Let's see, inventory, cell phone. A Matson flip phone, it's a year old, but still works pretty great. I'm not in a hurry to upgrade, even though the new smartphones look pretty nifty. Well, maybe I would be if I could afford one. I guess that explains why her grandma wants to clean out her grandfather's attic. Because they're not the richest. The house is huge though. But I can relate because I'm not the kind of person who swaps out my phones easy. I always just keep the old model until it stops working and then I'm forced to change. Student ID. A student ID from my school. I'm still not quite sure if studying... Wait, that's what I look like? Sarah Elizabeth Wright? I'm not quite sure if studying botanics and biology is right for me. And God knows mom doesn't think so, but I like nature. And I like the idea of maybe one day fixing the planet and winning the Nobel Prize or something. Or setting up a flower shop, you know, whichever. Also not the best picture, but yeah, that's me. Okay, that's okay. that was not fair of me because my student ID is extremely terrible also. <laughs> I can't say anything. Hello! Um, Seth, hello, hello. What game is this? Um, it's a little indie game called What Never Was. And apparently this is me, Sarah, and I'm in charge of cleaning up my grandfather's attic. It's supposedly a really short game, about half an hour to an hour-ish, because I had to go soon. So it's a bit of an exploratory game, I guess. A very chill, maybe a little bit boring, but just chill game. Necklace. Necklace I got from Grandpa when I turned 10. He joked that it was magical and that it would keep me safe from monsters and such under my bed. And I believed him for the longest time. I've worn it since, and now that he's gone, I don't think I'll ever stop wearing it. That's a hella suspicious looking attic. Journal pages 2. Journal page 2. It seems no coincidence that both the resting place of Plily and Periacroc- this, this looks like a treasure map, gotta say. Would happen to be in the mountains. The track has gone well, and although the winds are ominous, my clothing and necessities have carried me well so far. The guide I hired upon arrival have proved invaluable not only in his knowledge of the thick forest, but also for his rich knowledge and his company. Not unexpectedly, the symbol of water could be found at the peak of the summit, along with the alchemic symbol of water. Again, this symbol seems interconnected, and while one set are alchemic symbols known to many people, the other seems strange and of no cultural design that I am at least knowledgeable of. Knowledgeable of. The encounter in Hawaii makes me certain that the other two elements must bear significance as well. What will I find on this mountain? This is... This reminds me of... A little bit of Tomb Raider, I gotta say, or something. Plans tonight? I will be going for millennia tonight, probably. Uh, I didn't... I, I have about half an hour now, so I don't want to do it in the afternoon. But yeah, tonight, for sure. Is the attic spooky? Um, I don't think it's a horror game, but it's looking pretty spooky to me. I could add some background music, though. <laughs> like an old gramophone. It's pretty cute. I'll be playing more Elder Ring tonight. It's a magnifying glass. For magnifying things. Thank you, thank you for the commentary. I'm sorry, that's my level of commentary also. That's a magnifying glass. For magnifying things. <laughs> Let me observe. It's a magnifying glass. For magnifying things. Okay. A desk drawer. Open. A oh. torn out page. Picked up another journal page. Elfston, also sometimes known as troll stones, the subject of Scandinavian folklore, normal rocks with holes in them. The size of an acorn. Oh, normal rocks with holes in them, the size of an acorn were considered lucky. Otherworldly and useful. Really? Really? I survived lots of rocks like that. Hung from the necks of livestock, it would protect them and their farmers alike from malicious predators, trolls, and even incubi. Incubi? Is that how you say it? In some tales, the owner of a true elf stand is also able to see the otherwise invisible common troll through the whole of the rock. While several of these were on display, only one of them looked to be the one I was looking for. Carved in a way that no average drawler could, and with ore in place of where a hole should be. I didn't acquire it through the most honest of means. But no one came to harm, and I'm sure its disappearance won't be noticed. I do wonder how it fits into all of this, though. I must study it thoroughly. Grandpa was a thief. 
Okay. How do I examine it? I'm not like that. Okay. What are it's you? Lamp. Huh? Oh, Grandpa's old travel diary. Seems like a few pages are missing. Pele, goddess's fire. Why was Grandpa researching Hawaiian myths? It's a little bit noisy. <laughs> not that I don't like the music. I kind of do. He sure could draw, though. I mean, look at that goddess dragon thing. But I want to hear the voiceover, because it's pretty rare that an indie game has a voiceover. Goddess dragon thing. I should see if I can find the missing pages before moving this. Oh, Grandpa's old... It's a magnifying glass. I would like to see more of that or goddess dragon thing. Magnifying thing. I should see... Pele. He sure could draw, though. I mean, look at that goddess dragon thing. That's me in Elden Ring. Look at that dragon thing. This must be from Grandma and Grandpa's wedding. It's Grandpa on one of his expeditions. He sure was adventurous. Aw, it's a picture of us. Grandpa, you sweet old bastard. You sweet old bastard. What a way to talk to my grandpa. To look closer, press Z. What the heck is that? That does not look like a goddess. Or a dragon. It just looks like a thing. Okay. They look so sweet together. I wonder where this is. And what Grandpa was doing there. I'm going to miss hearing about all of your adventures. Oh, can I look inside like that? Like that? Am I supposed to observe his hand? His face? That's a little bit creepy, gotta say. So why do I need to zoom in on his face? Am I supposed to find this mouthpiece? I'm a conspiracy theorist, you know, you can't... You can't show me all these things and don't explain it. <laughs> Grampy looks like a nice old dude. He does. Death Inside? Nothing. These books are all so old. Hey, wait. Is that the biography of George Lucas? <sighs> it's going to take forever to sort through all these. Okay. Grandpa sure did like his books. What else is in this attic? A chair? A globe! Oh? Shu, Egypt. And a symbol of a... swirl? <laughs> is that supposed to be wind? I'm guessing it's wind. I don't know how to read maps. I don't... What is that? Shu, Egypt. What a globe. Huh. Grandpa sure had some cool stuff that I've never seen. Whee! Fu Sang. Fu Sang, China. And a symbol of a tree. Fu Sang, China. And a symbol of a tree. I gotta say, I like the voice acting a lot. Hey, this is Pele. that goddess thing mentioned in Grandpa's diary. Pele, Hawaii, and a fire symbol. Sounds like he's been researching Hawaiian legends. Paria, Pariakara, oh? South America. And that looks like a drop of water. And that's where he found the drop of water thingy. Paria, Pariakaka, South America. Pariakaka. And that looks like a drop of water. Pariakaka is in South America. What kind of town is that? It's an old table lamp. It's an old table lamp. On. Oh, what's this? I can look closer with Z. Aha! It's a small, simple key. Maybe it fits the desk. Take it. I picked up a small key. Looks small enough to fit in the desk, maybe. In the desk. I did not notice any locked item in the desk, I gotta admit. An old bicycle. Hiking by train. I'm leaving by train. Okay, you lazy. A typewriter. That's a nice sound. <laughs> Celtic myths and legends. Zoom. Okay. Fairies. By Brian Froud and Alan Lane. Can't imagine it's been used much. Grandpa was always the fountain pen type. And you? It's a chessboard. With the game already in progress, there's no one to play. And I'm not sure I even know the proper rules. Yeah, chess is hard, gotta admit. Celtic myths and legends. Wait, every single book is about Celtic myths and legends? What do you mean? These books are all so old. Hey, wait. Is that the biography of George Lucas? <laughs> How many biographies does he have? Whoa. This looks like it belongs in a museum. Nuh-uh. I've watched too many movies to go about stealing ancient relics. <laughs> okay, well, she's she's kind of smart, Alice. I gotta admit. <laughs> That's pretty smart. 
Let's not go around robbing random hmm. things. What's this? Another page. Okay. It's journal page one. I finally landed in Hawaii and will soon begin my arduous climb of Mauna Loa. Is that how you say it? I'm not much of a climber, but I am filled with determination. I will, however, first take some days to recuperate from the very tiresome travel from which my fear of flights did not exactly improve. Not only was the pilot rude and dismissive of safety protocol, he also seemed completely unsure at times of what he was doing. Regardless, I am here, and will spend the coming days in the village of Pahala. Whatever secrets Pele Goddess of Fire holds, it is now within my grasp. I have definitely reached the right place. Although I am weary from travel, I am too excited to sleep. The villagers are friendly, but warn me of hurting customs, something I have no intent to do. I have also noticed the alchemic symbol of fire etched over people's doorways. It connects to Pele, of course, but is it linked to the Crest of Sword as well? Okay, so journal 1 is when he lands in Hawaii, and journal 2 is he went to find Pele, but instead found the water symbol, so not the fire symbol. And number 5 is just about a random troll stone. Okay, what's th is there anything on the floor? No. I would have thought that I could pull out this page. It looks like something. I cannot pull it out. Okay. More Fairies books. By Brian Froud and Alan Lee. A clock. My grandfather's grandfather clock. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck give her? <laughs> My grandfather's grandfather clock. Grandpa loved this thing. Told me it was one of a kind. Although, he never actually told me why. This symbol is a little bit suspicious. Come to think of it. I don't even know where he got it from. On one of his travels, I guess. There is no way I can pick this up. Okay. Hmm. The key I have doesn't fit here. Well, there's a keyhole. The key I have must fit elsewhere. I can't believe Mom wants to sell this. I get that he missed a lot of her childhood. But come on. Hmm. Come on. I swear all these papers on the floor look kind of important, but they're not. Okay. It's a landscape painting of Weddington. I am not taking this with me right now. She could sell paintings instead. Oh, Sarah's things. I'm Sarah. Those are my things. Oh, man. My old A station. A station. I spent hours playing games on this thing. Oh, my God. Wait, A station? I must have played through the Adventures of Merida every single summer I was here. The Adventures of Merida. I wonder if it still works. That's, oh man. That's so cute. Station. I spent hours playing games on this thing. Damn. The adapter's missing. Probably for the best. I wouldn't get anything done today if I started playing. Cold fusion. Damn. Damn. The adapter's missing. What else? What else? What Probably are the games that she best. has? She has. I wouldn't get anything done today if I started playing. Merida. Okay. And what's this? Yo, I can't read that. Guitar piccolo. Oh man, that's so. <laughs> Dude, this is definitely like Guitar Hero or something, but they changed it. <laughs> Never had one of those. It's like a. It's not like a GameCube or or the original PS. Or I used to play um. Like the little fighter jet games on it. I think they call it like Galactica. Hey, Mr. Piggles. Mr. Piggles! Why do I keep pressing that? I, I want to zoom in, but I keep pressing inventory. Pig sound. Pig like lofted. That's a bit creepy. Oh! How have you been holding up? Okay, that's all? What unimportant things I have. That's all? Oh, here. A tape recorder. So you play me. Hello. This is Howard James Wright with a message for my granddaughter, Sarah Elizabeth Wright. What? I suddenly have credits. So if anyone else is listening, they can start off immediately, please. <laughs> Grandpa's kind of cool. <clears throat> Sarah, if you are listening to this, then it means... Well, it means I'm gone. But I don't want you to be too sad about it. That's just the way life goes sometimes. Mm. So, chin up, my little pixie. Remember our grand moments. 
all the adventures we had with him. You were a little one, and I wasn't such a cranky old man. Oh, Grandpa. I... I know you have questions for me. It's true I kept secrets from you and your mother. But there were good reasons. There are things in this world greater than ourselves, and I needed to protect you from them. I didn't want either of you to face the dangers that I've had to... I never wanted to place such a burden on your shoulders, but now it, it's unavoidable. Pixie, I need your help. But I can't just tell you. I have to show you. You will need to see for yourself. This world is full of secrets. From the tallest tree to the deepest river, in every breath of wind and every dancing flame, all you have to do is look. Goodbye, Sarah. I love you very much. Grandpa! Oh. Goodbye, Grandpa. Yo, he's such a cool old man. That could totally be the opening for like a Tomb Raider series or something. <laughs> Did you just tell the viewers to sod off? Oh man, if you're not a Sarah, sod off, man. Chloe, go! Hello, hello! Ouch. I will stretch. I will. Ugh. I'm stretching. Ugh. Ugh. Thank you for the stretch. <laughs> Aww. The post it says, Play Me. That's definitely Grandpa's handwriting. Can I play it again? This world is full of secrets. From the tallest tree like to the this. deepest river, in every breath of wind and every dancing flame, all you have to do is look. Goodbye, Sarah. I love you very much. Grandpa! Oh, the stretch was hurt. <laughs> How's it been? Yeah, it's been good. It's been good. Um, today I'm playing a little indie game called What Never Was. And I'm basically in Grandpa's attic trying to find out, um, well, what he's been up to, I guess. Oh, I can open all of these drawers, okay. A desk drawer. Open. I keep. Good. A pretty fancy looking compass. That's a really nice binocular. <laughs> Monocular? Um, Monocular? An open desk drawer. An open desk drawer. Oh, Sarah thinks she's so smart. An open desk drawer. Thank you for your investigation, man. <laughs> Grandpa. Grandpa sounds like a really cool this guy. This would be perfect for my next sail across the seven seas. But I'll leave it where it is for now. Nah. I can find my way back to the train station. No, I want it. to look at the map behind it, Sarah. Sarah! Well, she doesn't want to interact with it. That's fine. A desk drawer. An open desk drawer. <laughs> I can't stand her help. <laughs> wow, well, an open desk drawer. That's insane. An open desk drawer. Oh god. Close. A desk drawer. Hmm. What's this? Picture. This looks like one of the diary pages. Diary. Close. Let's see. I have the cassette tape. The transcript of everything that Grandpa said. Oh, I can play it anytime. That's nice. I really like it. And then there's also the small key, which is small enough to fit in the desk. And I got a new journal page. Journal page four. All I've worked for. It's here. I know it. The necklace in the temple in China made all the difference. And now I'm finally in Africa, hoping to set the burning sensation of curiosity to peace. The symbols line up. My calculations were correct. The anonymous mail I received helped on a great scale, but I still have not managed to figure out the sender. Regardless, the last piece of knowledge should be here, in Egypt. And after having evaded my guide, I have now found the symbols. It's time. Time to learn what is behind these strange connections and events. What did you find out, Grandpa? <laughs> An old photograph found in Grandpa's desk. It says Sultan Hussein Mosque, Madras Madrasa? 
Egypt 1966 must have been from one of his trips. Oh. Yes, Sarah, you opened it. Exactly, right? <laughs> Dropping Larry, thanks. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Have a great Sunday, dude. Uh, how many drawers do I have left to go? Only the top three. Okay. All right. Huh. This oh. key box looks fairly old and has a combination lock on it. It's locked. Thank you. It's locked. You helpful. Like, I can't zoom in any anymore. What is the code? A L S. I'm gonna close you till I figure out what I did. An open desk drawer. I want to know what's inside the desk drawer, Sarah. Please, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. You have some issues, my girl. It looks like a torn out page. The last page. Let's see. The alchemic symbol of Earth combined with the Chinese one for tree. While the trip has yet again gone well, and my research has once again led me to those symbols, I can draw no conclusion. I've spent most of my life researching these mythological connections, yet again I reach my destination, and nothing. Almost as if this is all an extremely elaborate prank. I sometimes wonder if my daughter is right. Months, nay years of planning only to eventually find a temple or shrine with another symbol, another riddle, and another clue. However, at the same time, it feels like I'm so close to finding some- Hmm, shiny symbol for three, okay. An open dash drawer! <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my god, that's- That's all my recollection of this game, dude. I have to make that, like, a meme or something. The whole game is about an open dash drawer. Okay, so now that I have journal pages one to five, should be able to put them here. Oh, I should see if I can find the missing pages before moving this. I have found five missing pages. I should see if I can find the missing pages before moving this. That's not enough. Okay, there's a small problem, and the fact is, I have a small key, and it says a small key looks small enough to fit in the desk, maybe, but there's nowhere to put it in the desk. Nowhere. Am I not looking at the desk hard enough? Is there another place to the desk that I don't know about? What can I have be? Here? Here? Uh, it's going to take forever to sort through all these. Grandpa sure did like his Where? Parents. How does it fit into the desk? What do you mean? Or is it with the key then I could open all these drawers? Is that what it means? Oh, I can even open the bottom one. Open. An open desk drawer. <laughs> I can't. An open desk drawer. <laughs> Why can't I reach the bottom ring? Can I bend? Can I crouch? Crouch. C. C. Oh, that would make things so much easier. Okay. Absolutely nothing. Thank you. Nothing. What a useless bottom four rungs. Okay. Oh, this one. There's nothing. An open desk drawer. It's nothing but an open desk drawer. <laughs> I can't. An open desk drawer. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what are what other things can I do? Forward, inspect, and rank. Zoom, backwards, right, crouch. Inventory. Hmm. Oh, Grandma's cello. So this is where it ended up. Boom, boom, boom. I really wish I knew if that was in tune or not. I wonder how many of these he charted or drew himself. But what else can I do? Have I not interacted with everything? I feel like I need light. The hero with a thousand faces by Joseph Campbell. I loved when we drew maps of places we made up together. That's a great skill for D&D. Yeah. The Hero with a Thousand Faces by Joseph Just... Campbell. Pariyakaka. Uh, oh! Okay. Oh! 
These can be pushed. Oh. Push what some more? What does the message say again? What message? Ah, uh, shoot. Wait. I get it. I have to press it in order of Grandpa's adventure. Oh my, I must be a genius. Wait a minute. I think. Okay, the first place he landed was Hawaii. Hawaii in Pahala. Then he went to Pariakaka. And then China. And then Africa or Egypt. And Scandinavia? Okay, the first place... Wait, my memory cannot... My, my, my memory is so bad. Hold on. Okay, the first place is Hawaii. What is this? Paria... Pariakaka. Okay, Does this globe nope. have anything to do with Grandpa's message? This is Egypt. China. Pele. Hawaii. Pele. This is that goddess thing. Pele. Hawaii. Right? Fire There's only gold. those? Okay, so... Ah. Uh, Pele first. Press. That doesn't seem to be it. What do you mean? That's my first button. Press it again. No, that's not it. Why? Hey, this is that goddess. What did the message say again? What message? Isn't this the message? The cassette tape? The cassette tape has no place. Oh. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't isn't Pahala first? That doesn't okay. seem to be Maybe it's maybe it's Periakaka first. Ah, uh, shoot. No, that's not it. But why? Okay, I'm not smart after all. <laughs> what did the message say again? The world is full of secrets. That's it. The world is full of secrets. That's my hint. What did the message say again? It says the world From is the full of secrets. To the deepest river. Oh! Oh, that's what you mean. This world is full of secrets. From the tallest tree to the deepest river. In every breath of wind and every dancing flame. All you have to do is look. I see. So the first one is tallest tree to the deepest river. Okay. Tallest tree. Do you look like a tree? No. In every breath of wind and every dancing flame are you a tree you're a tree okay okay what's after the tree to the deepest river are you water you look like fire are you water you're water paria pariakaka south america and that looks like a drop of water i see grandpa you sneaky sneaky in every breath of wind and every dancing flame Breath of Can wind. Be referring to these symbols? Okay, enough, Sarah. I know I messed up, but I know now. Is that supposed to be wind? I'm guessing. It's She's wind. giving me so much hints. I'm sorry, I'm Does dumb. Does this globe have anything to do with Grandpa's message? <laughs> I get it, Sarah. And every dancing flame, fire is the last. Pele. Yeah, I did it. I did it. What's that? This looks like... Oh? Is this a second part of my necklace? I have a necklace here. A necklace that I got from Grandpa when I turned 10. He said that it was magical and that it would keep me safe. So this should be the necklace that he found in China. Take it. This looks like... Is this a second part of my necklace? Take it. Oh, magic. <gasps> Whoa! This is the troll stone! Whoa! Necklace part. Okay. So, update, I guess. When I managed to open Grandpa's globe, I found another piece of the necklace. And when I look through it, stuff glow and I see things that aren't there. What the hell is going on? Am I going crazy? Press V to look through the necklace. <gasps> it's this! Sometimes known as troll stones hung from the necks of livestock, look, it looks exactly the same. They say that in some tales, the owner of a troll elf sign is also able to see the otherwise invisible common troll through the hole of the rock. Look through the hole of the rock. Whoa. 
serious woe. Wait, this is getting creepy. Wait, this is getting creepy. I'm kind of scared. Wait, wait, wait. Why is it so dark? It's not supposed to be a horror game. I'm telling you now. It's not supposed to be a horror game, okay? So, huh. Okay. Why is it so dark? I don't like it. I don't like it, please. Huh. Oh. This? I'd take it if I could. But where in my 18 square meter student apartment would I fit this thing? What's this supposed to mean? There are four hands, and none of them are moving. Four hands? These? That old man never could fix anything properly. Hmm. The key I have doesn't fit here. Okay, but... But now what? There are four hands, and none of them are moving. Hmm? That was a little bit scary, but what does it even mean? It's an open globe drawer. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What if I look out the window? Ooh, creepy. Kind of really, really creepy. Is there anything on the table? No. Anything outside? No. The only thing glowing is that. Which means I have to do something here. I have to point the hands to these symbols. Hmm. The key I have doesn't fit here. But the key I have doesn't fit hmm. here. The key I have doesn't fit here. So how do I move the hands? That old man never could fix anything properly. Hmm. What do I have? I'm stuck now. Oh. Look through the eye. Nothing. There's nothing. Nothing but those glowing symbols. What do you mean? Oh, dude. Creepy. There are four hands, and none of them are moving. That old man never could fix anything properly. Oh, She's not observing the symbols. There are four hands, and none of them are moving. She's only observing this clock. Dear friends, there has to be something to do with these hands. I saw these symbols before. These symbols. Uh, these triangles. Here. See? There's a triangle on the flame. And then on the water. Uh, at, at the back, I think. Look. There's another triangle. Which means that I'm supposed to be pointing the correct hand to the symbols... That I see through this eye. Through this troll stone. But now the problem is... The key I have doesn't fit here. The key I have doesn't fit here. Dang it! Okay, where's the key? Where else could the key be? Grandpa, help! This world is okay, Grandpa. Of secrets. From the tallest tree to the deepest river. In every breath of wind and every dancing flame, all you have to do is... It has to be... It has to be this. Goodbye, Zara. I love you very much. <gasps> what the combination be? It says Sarah! It's my name! Tell me I'm a genius. Damn. Damn I'm it. I'm sure that would be it. I'm not a genius. Maybe I need something else to solve this. <laughs> I'm dumb. Why is it not Sarah? No. This game is going against my common sense. <laughs> oh, dang it. Okay. Um, Sarah, I need some help. What about the magnifying glass? Can I use it for something? It's a magnifying glass. For magnifying things. GGGs. <laughs> I'm not a genius. What about if I magnify and I see a word? All I see is a grandpa's face. Which doesn't help me. Why? And I look like a ghost. Help! Maybe it's on the photograph? Sultan Hussein Mosque Madrasa, Egypt 1966. Oh, you wonder what magnifying glass is for? Yeah, what is it for? What could it be for? When you're an old timer, you're gonna build an ethical of puzzles. 
Why? Why does Grandpa have such a hobby? Why? Um. What if I look at it through my troll stone? Wait. Wait, there's something glowing. X. Okay, Grandpa. I need a clue to unlock this box. So if you're here... Stop! What do you mean if you're here? Huh? No! <gasps> Guess I'll have to work it out myself then. What is this ghost? Oh? <gasps> oh! I have to roll it in the dark! I mean, while looking through the troll stone. P. It says Pixie. Which is what Grandpa calls Sarah. Sarah's not that wrong, okay? <gasps> I'm a genius. Well, no, I can't say that anymore. <laughs> I've been I've been baited by this game so many times now. How's that possible? Why do they know what the common people think? The key. Ornamental key. Uh oh. Uh oh, it's chiming. Okay. Okay. Stop calling me, I got it. A key with gold finish looks fancy. It feels strange in my hand, like if it's electric almost. Also, the grandfather clock rang when I picked it up, so I guess they're connected. What the hell, Sarah? You're not scared at all? Okay. I'm a little bit intimidated by this clock, gotta admit. Open. Now. Now. Now I'm a genius. <laughs> now I fix this. Okay, so this one, the fire, according to Grandpa, the fire has a triangle on it, and the fire is at northwest. Okay, so I gotta move this triangle. It won't budge. Why? Aren't these triangles in the journal pages? It won't budge. What do you mean it won't budge? It won't budge. Stop whining at me, why doesn't it budge? Move it! Oh! Oh! Oh, I see. Wait, that's so cool. I have to unlock it here first. Damn it. I have to admit, I love the voice acting for Sarah a lot. She's like, it won't budge. I got it, Sarah, I know. Is it here? Oh no, I messed up. It's here. At 9 o'clock. And what else? Okay, the water droplet has the... Turn faster. Oh, upside down triangle on it. The water droplet. The water droplet is here. Here. And that's uh, eight. Okay. The upside down triangle at eight. Okay. What next? The tree with the upside down triangle and a dash tree. Oh, the tree. Is this the tree? Oh, the tree is here. Okay. So the tree is the upside down. Wait. Wait. Upside down triangle. With the dash on it. Which triangle is that? Aha! See, they tried to fool me. But no, it's this one. Doop, doop. Okay. And then the last one is here, which is the water. And the normal triangle with the dash. Okay, normal triangle. And that water is here at number two. Yeah. Okay. Move it. Move it. Move it. Eh. Eh. I probably need to select the clock hand somehow. I already did it, Sarah. Was that it? Did I do it? Did I do it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. What's happening? No, 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 no. Sarah? Hello? I'm gone. What? That was the first time I traveled by magic. Pulling at the thread that would unravel my grandfather's mysteries. I so wish he told me sooner. So we could have gone on at least one adventure together. Instead, I went on his adventure. The one that never was. 
But that is a longer story. For another time. What? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's it. Oh. Oh. That's interesting. That's interesting, but it feels like um feels like a prologue. It feels like a prologue. Which is kind of weird. <laughs> what? Oh. What never was? What never was? That's it. That's it, grandpa. Is there a sequel to this? Wait, hold on. Let me check if there's a sequel to this. Is that it? Well, that's about the half an hour to one hour game I was expecting. I guess. And they did say that it's a short and story-driven first-person game. Is there a sequel? No? The journey never was? That's what you're telling me? But how can that be? <laughs> How can that be the end, though? It does feel like a demo for something longer. I, I think that this... Oh, this studio... But they don't have any other game stuff. Wait, hold on. Let me check. The studio is called Ek Helgren. That's not studio, it's just a developer. And this is the only game that they have. What Never Was. Oh, hold on. There's a What Never Was Chapter 2. Hey, there's a chapter two. Sarah finds herself magically whisked away to a strange place. Where did the clock take her and what did grandfather hide from her? The anticipated sequel coming soon with no planned release date. Okay. <laughs> I guess, well, this game is a free game and that's kind of cool. Because, uh, yeah, because it definitely feels like a demo. It definitely feels like a demo. So let's see. I'm gonna... There's actually three achievements that I haven't gotten. And I'm gonna look at a guide because I suck. And um, let's just see... If there's anything I missed out. Hey mom, where are you? Wait, what? So you're not coming? But I'm already here. I know, but mom, don't we owe it to grandpa too? Yeah, I know. It's just What? You can't sell the clock? Oh, she even click on the Grandpa's open drawer a hundred times. <laughs> okay. Like it. hello, okay. hello. Whatever. It's fine. I can just start clearing out my boxes and then I don't know. We can come back tomorrow and do the rest. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye. I'm really going to miss you, Grandpa. All right, let's do this. Mm. The open drawer cracks me up. Okay, I want to know if, without the key, I can open the drawer. It's locked. A desk ah. drawer. It's locked. The desk drawer. It's locked. It's locked. <laughs> I see. Hey, Mr. Piggles. How have you been holding up? Hey, Mr. Hey, Mr. Piggles. Piggles. How have you been holding up? Don't you she oink at me. <laughs> okay. And apparently that was one. And this one also. Hello? Nah, -uh. I've watched too many movies to go about stealing ancient relics. Whoa. This looks like it belongs in a museum. Or like a Scottish cathedral. Whoa. This looks like it belongs in a museum. I prefer my face unmelted. Thank you very much. Unmelted? Nah, -uh. I've watched too many movies to go about stealing ancient relics. She's basically hinting that if I pick it up, it's gonna melt my face off. <laughs> okay, so the key was right here. Here. Zoom. Pick it up. And then I go back to my open desk drawer. A 
An open desk drawer. An open desk drawer. <laughs> I can't stand that for real. Okay, let's see. That's a really nice binocular. Monocular? Um, this will be perfect for my next sail across the seven seas. But I'll leave it where it is for now. Telescope. That's a really nice telescope. She's trying really hard to identify. A vest, me matey. Yar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, apparently those were the three achievements that um I didn't get the first time because I didn't interact with the things enough times. But yeah, that's the end of what never was. Blankets, if you just joined, uh, this is this was a really short game where I investigated my grandfather's attic and found out that he was investigating myths and legends of uh, across Hawaii, Egypt, and even China. And I have a necklace that he gave me and it kind of resonated with the grandfather clock and I got whisked away. I disappeared somewhere and that was the end of this really short game. It's apparently just chapter one. There's a game in development by the develop by the publisher. Uh, and it's supposed to be coming out soon, but there's no planned release date. So there's that. That does look pretty good though. I, I would I am gonna put this on my watch list. So that I'll be notified when it's available. I like small games like these. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> Let's play some music. Anyway, that's the end of the stream, guys, because uh, we're pretty much done with this game. So I played this game instead of uh, Elden Ring today, or right now, because I had to go in about an hour. So it's a good thing that I guess it ended when it did. <laughs> but yeah, we'll be back tonight, maybe. Hope you guys are having a good Sunday. That was a really, really short surprise stream of what never was. Blankets! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll be back tonight, but I hope you have a good Sunday. Yeah. Thanks for the stream. The game was cool. Yeah, it was really cool. Thanks. And I hope you like the game. I do like to play this kind of smaller... Uh, I like to play these kind of smaller puzzle games sometimes. Maybe not this short. Maybe a little bit longer one next time. But definitely, I think they're kind of fun just to walk around and interact. Also, because I got cheated every time. And I don't know how, but the developers just know what what I'm thinking. <laughs> I have a common thinking pattern, I guess. But yeah, get fooled by everything, gosh. Anywho, I have to make a move soon, so... Have a nice Sunday, guys. Bye-bye, bye-bye. We'll be glad if you guys can come back tonight, maybe. In a few hours. I don't know. See you. Bye.